Hey guys, my name is Donnie and welcome back to another episode of building a motorhome from scratch. And guys, I know I say this just about every time, but this is probably going to be one of the most exciting videos of this build so far. And that guys is because I'm going to start working on building the front end of this motorhome. And you guys probably do know this, but the front end of any vehicle is probably the most important part of the design of any car. It basically brings forth the essence and the personality of that car. And I have gotten free reins to do whatever I want in the front end and make it whatever I want and put my stamp in the front of this car. But obviously I don't want to get it wrong guys. And obviously I want to make it look as beautiful as I possibly can. I only have a few limitations guys and that is for instance the angle of the windshield and also the headlights I'm going to be using because I will be using the Ivico's original headlights and the reason for that is number one that I do have them and I know that they work with the electronics of the car and secondly they are beautiful I do like them in any case. But let me go show you what I've got and I'll try my best to explain to you guys in a chronological order because I'm going to be jumping around, there's going to be a lot happening. But let me go and show you what I've got and then we can take it from there. Okay guys, so this is what the motorhome looks like at the moment. As I left it in the last video, I made this frame for the windshield and it is suspended more or less in its position. And what's going to happen now is I'm going to start making the front end for this motorhome. I've got the lights over there that I'm going to be using. And I have drawn a couple of pictures and I've been doodling away since the start of this build and I've come up with a couple of ideas of how I want this front end to look like. But I've decided that I'm going to look at this part of the build more like a sculpture or an art piece than necessarily using exactly what I've drawn because I am convinced that there's going to be a couple of design changes and modifications that I'm going to do and make on the real one. But guys, at least using these pictures, I now know more or less where I want the headlights to be. And I know where the windshield's going to sit. And I've got more or less an idea of how I'm going to fabricate this nose. And the way that I've decided I'm going to be making this front end is by first making a plug of what the finished product's going to look like. So I'm going to be making a nose out of a different material than fiberglass. And then I'm going to make a mold or take a mold from that plug and just invert it and then I can make a perfect front end out of fiberglass using that mold. And guys the way that I'm going to make this plug for this front end is by using some of that flat bar and angle iron and chicken mesh and so on. And I'm going to start creating a frame that represents the front end and then I'll cover it with plaster of Paris and some more plaster and start sanding it down and finishing it off to look exactly the way that I want it. But guys, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me first start by installing those headlights in position and then I can start making a frame.
Hey guys, time for an update. I've now finished making the steel structure out of round bar. And guys, I've got to tell you that I'm so excited of the way that this front end of this motorhome is starting to look like. It is really coming together and I'm very, very excited about that. And I really want to tell you about my design and my inspiration for the design as it looks like now. But I think before I can do that, I need to continue with making this plug so that it will start looking like something because I know that on video it doesn't really um, paint the picture the way that it's going to look like. So next thing that I need to do now is I need to go through three processes to finish off this plug. The first of which is I need to take some of that chicken mesh and then start covering my structure and then I need to strengthen that chicken mesh and a buddy of mine suggested that I use a layer of fiberglass, just one layer of chop strand fiberglass, just to strengthen this whole structure. And then I'm going to use some normal household wall filler. And I'm going to put a lot of filler on top of all of that. And then I can start sculpting this whole nose to look exactly the way that I want it before we can start making a mold off of this plug. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to first do the chicken mesh. First of all, I'm going to cover everything on the inside with some leftover material because when I put the fiberglass on top, it, I don't want it to drip inside. And then after I've put the chicken mesh, I'm going to put a layer of fiberglass and then the, the wall filler and then sand it down. And then I'm going to show you exactly what this nose is going to look like and what my inspiration was in making this nose. And I think that you guys are going to very much enjoy that. Any guys, let's continue. Okay guys, there we go, time for an update. This is how far I am with this plug at the moment. I've now spent hours and hours and hours putting some filler on here, sanding it down, putting some more filler, sanding it down, making sure that the left and right hand sides are progressing the same way. And guys, that is the nice thing about making a plug first before making a product, is that I can use could use any material to shape and make this, this nose to look the way that I wanted. And I can fill as much as I like and sand down as much as I need to to get the shape to look exactly how I want it and then I can take a mold and I can make a nice and thin product off of that and full disclosure guys I did make a huge rookie mistake when I put the fiberglass 
on top of the mesh because it was just sagging off and falling to the bottom and I had to start cutting that fiberglass into much smaller pieces for it to stick to the mesh and guys I should have just first put a piece of material over the mesh and put some fiberglass resin on top of that the same way that they do in the audio car audio industry when they make speaker boxes and so on and then I could have put some fiberglass on top of that so that was a huge mistake from my side and guys as I usually say in my videos I'd like to reach a milestone with the end of every video but this is how far I'm gonna get on this video because guys there's still a lot of filler that needs to be put on here and a lot of sanding that needs to be done and I'm gonna spend as much time as it takes to get this nose perfect but I really need to get this video out because I have now to date spent about three weeks or even four finishing up this plug it has been the longest marathon so far in this build making this plug but I'm very very happy with the results and just to let you guys know the inspiration or the inspiration for this nose for me was I um, looked at animals and I took my inspiration off of an animal that I based this nose off of and that was none other than a white rhino guys so I went for the lower eyes eyelids the big forehead and the white front mouth and that was just the the idea or the the, the essence of what this my time is all about I went for the look of a white rhino X the front horn over here and obviously this is an artist rendition of it because guys I love the big five and a white rhino is one of the docile large but strong animals here in Africa and this is the look that I was going for but in any case guys I'm going to continue finishing up this plug and in the next video I'm going to show you what it looks like finished so maybe that will be some motivation for you to tune in next time and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a mold for this plug and then make a product so that we, we can have a nice lightweight front end for this vehicle but I'm going to love you and leave you and that's going to be it for this video. I will see you next time. Cheers!